Hello everyone. So this is the first video from where we are actually uh, starting to code our project. So this is my f uh, previous project, and as you can see here uh, in the left side, uh, the explorer there is like back end, front end, model class, and testings, and other files. So we will be uh, coding this project uh, by uh, with the clean. Um, coding practice like we will be creating the packages back in and the front end and the model class uh, this is a general practice where uh, the codes are managed and if the other programmers will uh, look in onto our project and they will be they, for them it will be easier to manage the code so in the back end so in the back end uh, package uh, the connections file like to connect the host uh, will be uh, code here we will write a code for connecting the uh, files to a local host or an, another host so and in the front end we will be actually creating a gui and this will be where most of the time we will spend and in the model class every module that we will be creating or getting any or setting any value we will be creating the model class for them and in this uh, file we will set and get the value and this works like uh, we will uh, get we will firstly we will uh, in firstly the user will provide input in the input field and then those value will be uh, get uh, the, the Value will be set into the model class, and then mm, after then it will be sent to the packet, and then the, with the connections it will be stored in the database. And again, same goes to while while we face the data. So for that, uh, let's create a new project. Uh, let's go to new project, and then in the Python projects. So I will change the directory. So I will create here new folder modin GUI. So I'm using existing uh, interpreter here. So this is our name. You keep it or you can delete it. It's not necessary. So now let's create uh, our packages, Python packages. So you can see uh, the naming convention is like starting with capital. So it uh, uh, it is recommended to create the packages have to to have a uh, uppercase letter in the first so let's create the python package um, back in and then another python package front end and then another python package model So, now let's, so this packages uh, in this packages will be uh, creating another that by files and we will write your line the first there. So the init file is where we will, we can say how this programs works or we can actually document uh, what is this package about. So uh, now let's create an. Uh, no, let's see. First of all, let's see uh, what we will we'll be doing. So as you can see here, uh, while we run the app, while we start the app, the, this window is pop up. Like uh, this is a database connection form. This window will only pop up if uh, the connection is not made yet. If the connection is made, the another login windows will pop up. So 
first of all let's create this uh, we will be creating this uh, window and then uh, there are three other forms like uh, submit if what uh, if sub, uh, user will submit and then what will happen and we will create another window and then if the user will uh, log in a user can basically log in if they have created uh, this database and they can then exit or they can wipe database like if uh, the data is if the connection is not made but the data is actually stored in the database they can uh, wipe those data uh, directly from here so in this window as you can see there are four labels like the host name the port username and the password and at the top there is a heading so we will also work on that how to uh, animate that heading part and uh, also, you you are seeing these uh, icons here uh, uh, in the beginning of this input field. Like we have localhost that is prefilled value here. So um, at the beginning we have a little icon. We'll be creating these icons uh, using Photoshop. Uh, not we'll not work on creating the icons, but actually we'll be placing these icons in Photoshop. As you can see, if uh, the on the background window that you are seeing the color or the designs the rectangular uh, having some uh, radius like uh, circular radius these are created uh, in photoshop and it is a way impossible in Tikinta to create the GUI uh, by coding so we have we will create these designs in photoshop and then we will place this design and in uh, onto that this display design or into that label and it's actually this will be a label and in that label we'll be placing another label and then input and then another button we will place in that and then the user actions will start so uh, we'll start this uh, of the coding part in the next video so thank you